The advice and opinions expressed by Dr. Grant Pichet and her guests are meant solely as suggestion and should not be in any way construed as child-specific advice. Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grand Pichet. Dr. Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. That's awesome. Uh, Sarah's uh, boys are now five, and I feel like we've been there since they were like two and a half. Uh, <laughs> she says they are processing well, but still struggle with sharing their day okay. despite having the language. Is that normal? It is common. It's a lot of different things. And let's talk about some of those things that lead to our kids having a hard time. This is a good phase you're in right now, Sarah, by the way. They will past this phase, but you need to do a couple of things to get them to understand what, you, what you're trying to get. So uh, some of this, so, so okay, let me just start with the very basic. The basic is make it a visual thing. So first of all, you don't know what's going on in their, in their day, so it's very hard for you to prompt and ask questions. So if you can, uh, ask the teacher or someone in school to give you a very, very short like a few bullet points of something that happened in a little notebook um, or somehow, you know, get an idea of some of the things that took place in the school on, on that day, right? Um, so that you can help prompt it when he comes home. You can start with just one very basic phrase and hopefully it's the most important thing that happened during the day because let me tell you, after our kids learn the concept of telling you some of the things that happen in, when you were absent, they tell you too much. Right. And then now you have to go to another lesson, which is, which is just tell me the key points, not every single thing, you know? And so, uh, but either way, like you will need to have some information so that you can prompt it and get them to dialogue with you. That's one thing. The second thing is if they are home with you, one of the ways that you can do this, or even in school is that you can have a series of pictures of their day so that you can you kind of have like a schedule board. Think of it that way. Like first we had breakfast, then we got dressed, then we went to school or whatever. I don't know if they're going to school right now, but whatever it is, and then, you know, came home, whatever, just that, so that he learns the concept of sequencing his activities according to time. This is very difficult for our kids at five. So if you ask a typical five-year-old, girl would be different than boy at this point, but girls will usually tell you the whole sequence, and boys will tell you just one or two things out of order, usually the most important things are important to them, right? So either way, <clears throat> you just need to be able to prompt that. So you need to have the knowledge. You can use visual boards to prompt it. You can ask a lot of questions to prompt it. And, and you can get the language going. It doesn't have to be, you should probably practice the skill on a weekend when you've actually been with him the whole day so you know what's going yeah. on and then transfer it to, let's say, an activity where you haven't been there, right? And you can get knowledge from someone else. I do want to say that we realize that over time that one of the things that happens is there's a theory of mind deficit that impacts this. And theory of mind is this whole idea of perspective th taking, the idea that our minds are separate. And sometimes our kids are wondering why you are asking them about what happened in their day. Why wouldn't you know? And that has to do with the fact that they don't separate your mind from their own mind. And they think everything that's in my head, you should already know. So why are you asking me this stuff? And it takes a little while. Five is early. Again, theory of mind stuff starts to develop around five. So it is, it is something that you can expect, and it is just something that you will work through. As always with our kids, don't expect these things just to develop on their own. There's lots of different ways that you can practice these things and help your child to understand exactly what it is you, you're asking about. Yeah. You know, and there's lots of basic lessons, like we, even if you do like uh, listening comprehension, yeah. you know, the, like so-and-so went to the store and bought some apples, whatever, yeah. and just asking the child what happened, who went where, like what was the story, that kind of stuff helps the child 
uh, be able to, what you're talking about here is summarizing and recalling, which are both individual skills that are important. Don't forget, you can watch Ask Dr. Doreen live every Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time. We hope to see you there.